Welcome back. A center dedicated to developing expertise in cybersecurity has opened in Singapore as part of a government master plan to secure our cyber environment. The FireEye Center of Excellence is a collaboration between the Infocom Development Authority of Singapore and global network security company FireEye. We are under no illusion that this is the end. We could well face more serious coordinated threats in future in addition to the numerous ones we deal with every day. Such attacks underscore the importance for organizations to be always ready with, with the capability and expertise to deal with a myriad of cybersecurity threats. Uh, and so to staff the centre, FireEye will hire more than 100 cybersecurity professionals over the next two years. It will also provide intelligence, detect threats and respond to attacks like those that targeted government websites last November. It will also partner institutes of higher learning in Singapore as well as other Infocom companies. So to tell us more about it is Douglas Schultz from the global network security company FireEye. So Douglas, thanks for coming today. Thanks, you. Um, so you guys talk a lot about governments or companies getting to understand the threat landscape. So yeah. what would Singapore's threat landscape be? Well, Singapore's threat landscape is uh, growing awareness, uh, especially since the November incident that we've seen. We, we need to see more awareness, but I think that we're starting to see the awareness, but also the education is required. Okay, when you talk about awareness and education, what's the problem and what's lacking there? Is it because people tend to be a bit complacent? They think that, oh, something like hacking yeah. won't happen to me. Yeah, there, there is some complacency out there. You know, th there's two types of people. There's those that know that they're breached already, and there, there's uh, those that don't know that they're breached. And so we, we actually want to raise the awareness and even test some of the products and run a threat assessment to see if we can capture some of that evidence. Okay, so what would be the best way to raise awareness? Uh, training. I think right away we we're working with the Singapore government to raise the training of their Infocom force. Uh, today they have about 1,200 people focused in the IT security landscape, and that's only about less than 1% uh, of the total Infocom workforce. So we want to help bring that up to another 200 in the next uh, two years, okay. and we'll collaborate working with the government. Okay, so where would that new blood come from? Um, locals or international? Singapore talent? local, yeah. We want to focus on Singapore local. Okay. Uh, at this point in time, what is still lacking in Singapore? Um, you already addressed the, the issue of manpower, but yeah. in terms of tools yeah. that we need to deal with threats. Yeah, so that's part of it, our you know, recent investment in Singapore is to provide more local uh, specific training regarding cyber, uh, cyber training, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, forensic skills, and uh, you know, overall raise the, the training capability of the future cyber workforce of Singapore. Okay, so you yeah. mentioned that you'll be working with schools and some companies as yeah. well. Yes. Uh, what will you be collaborating on? Uh, what kind of projects can we expect to yeah. see? We're working with certain IHLs. We can't comment which ones they are, but institutional of higher learning okay. to raise the core curriculum, but also help uh, provide the future you know, training capability of, of that cyber workforce. And uh, yeah. in terms of working with other companies? Uh, can't comment on those, but we will be partnering with certain Singapore companies to help uh, provide some local uh, application support, specifically in this region. All right, so yeah. what would your perhaps maybe one key short-term goal and one key long-term goal be? Short-term goal right now is to help raise the awareness, continue to raise awareness uh, across the Infocom, to work closely with the government mm -hmm. regarding uh, providing some of that skill set mm -hmm. and uh, provide some additional investments so we can uh, help do that locally here. So, and long-term goal? Long-term goal is that we're going to be looking at bringing more staff uh, into Singapore to support the greater Asia-Pac region. Okay. We've recently announced uh, Singapore as the Asia-Pac headquarters for FireEye. So we, we look to do more local R&D and investment here from there. Great. It's great yeah. speaking to yes. you. Thank, Thank you for you. coming today. Thank you very much. And that was Douglas on why we need uh, to, in Singapore, as well as in the region, constantly be on the guard or on our guard when it comes to cybersecurity. Uh,